Good to see you again in the new 2021st year. I hope that you spend uh, your Christmas and New Year break studying assiduous philosophy, reflecting upon what we said till now, and uh, with uh, full enthusiasm you enter in the, our last stage before the final exam which will be not so difficult because I think that the most important uh, uh, dimension of our course is uh, what we read, what we discuss during the course. And the final test is important also because we have to fulfill all formalities needed in our uh, academic studies. Nevertheless, I hope that uh, this final exam, the final test, was, uh, will not deprive you of a pleasure to reflect uh, once again about the beauty of uh, human mind and the variety of uh, philosophical reflection concerning our own life, uh, entire universe, uh, the past history, the present time and why not also some uh, reflection about the future. Uh, this year I would like to begin with a beautiful figure, a philosopher, a woman philosopher from uh, 4th and 5th uh, century of our common era named Hypatia. Uh, perhaps you heard already about because she is quite uh, popular between uh, certain circles and about this popularity and the reasons why she is so popular I will speak uh, in my third film but in the first I would like just to present her and thanks uh, to one scholar the Polish scholar Maria Dzielska, we have a wonderful biography of Hypatia, uh, which was uh, published in 90s, republished uh, in 2006 in Polish, also translated into many languages, included English, Greek, Turk, and many other languages. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, this uh, biography in PDF, but I had a look um, in my own copy, which I got from the author, and I'm very proud of. This is the Polish version. But you can also find uh, some um, fragments of this book in the uh, uh, internet. So if you will be interested, please uh, try to find uh, some excerpts, uh, fragments of this book, which I will briefly present. Uh, to you in my first film. Uh, you will find also in our platform, uh, campus platform, uh, two short uh, um, essays written uh, by uh, Jelska, uh, who sent me also some years ago. Unfortunately, she died two years ago in car accident, unfortunately because uh, I think she was planning to write uh, many other beautiful texts, essays, and perhaps books about this uh, first uh, centuries of uh, common era, uh, where a new religion, Christianity, and the old uh, tradition of Hellenistic uh, and Hellenic uh, philosophy uh, thought uh, was uh, perhaps we have to use the strong word the fighting uh, between one another the followers of Christianity and uh, the followers of uh, Greek philosophy were not all the time on peaceful and friendly re relations uh, nevertheless Hypatia is a good example of uh, a teacher, a philosopher who influenced uh, both groups, but unfortunately she fall uh, 
uh, as a victim of uh, some emotions and uh, you will find also in the final test the question which kind of emotions caused her death. Uh, it was the religious uh, uh, reasons, uh, political or perhaps philosophical. So all these uh, are very complex uh, but very interesting also examples of how sometimes uh, the destiny of a philosopher is not so not so easy. So one essay which is uh, short only nine pages is about uh, again many different interpretations of her death and I hope that uh, you will find your own uh, interpretation which is which is the correct one and uh, another essay is uh, dedicated not only to Hypatia but also to the environment uh, the context cultural philosophical context in which uh, she was uh, working educating uh, others but also her own uh, intellectual biography is briefly um, described uh, in the essay uh, by Jelska entitled uh, Learn Women in the Alexandrian Scholarship and the Society of Late uh, Hellenism. Uh, so please uh, have a look. Uh, I hope that you will really fall in love with this beautiful uh, mind, uh, beautiful women, very wise, uh, very influential, but unfortunately uh, her life uh, ended in 415 uh, tragically. Well, the book by Dzielska entitled uh, simply Hypatia of Alexandria is divided in three parts. Uh, three of these parts are very, very interesting and uh, worth it to read uh, because uh, Jelska was also um, interested in what uh, the Germans uh, uh, historian of culture used to call the Wirkungsgeschichte, uh, what means how uh, certain events, uh, uh, people, uh, ideas, uh, is, are uh, developing in the history, which kind of elements, dimensions are shaping uh, also our own mind, our, our own way of thinking about the past. So the book is divided in three parts. Uh, the first is Literary Legend of Hypatia, which is uh, very interesting because you can uh, learn from this chapter, but also from the myth or legend of Hypatia, how uh, differently she was presented uh, by people who were using her and her life and her biography in order to defend or to spread their own ideas. So it's uh, an invitation to read with suspicion what other people are writing and there's an invitation to ask uh, why certain people are writing about certain ideas. So we can find a very derogative or negative image of Hypatia as a pagan philosopher who was uh, uh, corrupting youth of her time. Uh, the other uh, presenting her, it was particularly popular, this uh, idea of Hypatia as a martyr of pagan philosopher who was uh, killed by barbarians, the Christians as a new barbarians who were destroying the beautiful uh, heritage of uh, antiquity uh, and so on and so on. So you have a lot of different version of this uh, legend and up to your sympathies you can find uh, uh, credible or convincing this version or another version. The second is uh, the reconstruction of her intellectual circles and I found this uh, the most uh, perhaps important uh, because you see how uh, in a very patient way uh, the author Maria Dzielska was able to reconstruct the very 
flourishing environment of Alexandria, is the today Egypt, north of Africa, in the third and fourth and fifth uh, century. Uh, and you see how uh, different uh, uh, cultural uh, sympathies uh, were uh, contributing to uh, a very um, plur plurific um, activities, intellectual activities. So you could find uh, Christians uh, who were disciples, students of Hypatia, you can find uh, also uh, pagan or Greek philosophers who are also attending her uh, lesson. You can find women and men. So all these are, you know, reconstructed in a very uh, solid, I would say, detailed way that you cannot uh, easily uh, project your stereotypes on, on this period. And also what is interesting uh, that Jelska is also commenting what, uh, uh, what is going on uh, today, how many pop culture, uh, how many filmmakers or novelists are using this uh, tradition in order to create their own myth. So again, be careful, be suspicious uh, toward films, uh, toward uh, popular uh, culture, because uh, uh, the, the, the core of tradition is uh, manipulated, sometimes falsified, etc., etc. So it's important also to, to study history, to study philosophical ideas, is not to be uh, too uh, credulous, uh, not to accept too easily the ideas uh, of others. And the, the last chapter, the life and death of Hypatia, is exactly uh, what will be the question for the final test, and perhaps also the topic uh, for our um, for our discussion. What is uh, the reason of the violent death of, of this uh, uh, important and influential philosopher? It was because the zealous religious people, the Christians, and particular bishop of Alexandria, Cyrillus, who was uh, invidious perhaps of her influence, uh, or some of uh, very fanatic fundamentalists, uh, we could say, were willing to eliminate her because she was uh, confusing some uh, people or perhaps, and uh, some other philosophers who were uh, jealous of her, of her talent, of her charisma, and they wanted to eliminate her uh, in order to get rid of, of concurrency, of, of competition, etc., etc. So it could be also these reasons. And uh, finally, and perhaps the most uh, convincing uh, in any way, in the, in the reconstruction of um, of Jelska, I think this element is the most uh, important, uh, namely uh, political reasons. So you see that the people who are um, thirsty, who want to uh, get uh, political uh, important places, sometimes are brutal in reaching their political goals. They are using religion, they are using uh, culture, they are using even philosophy in order to get, uh, to, to arrive to, to, to their final goal. So uh, I hope that uh, my reconstruction of this uh, philosopher, Hypatia, who was born more or less in the middle of the uh, fourth century and was killed in 415, um, inspired you, inspired your own research. And uh, in the second part, uh, I will speak uh, about uh, more uh, Wirkungsgeschichte, namely how uh, the ideas uh, which uh, life and work of Hypatia uh, incorporated uh, in her school, in her charismatic teaching, um, uh, continuing uh, today in, in, in modern, uh, more um, feministic, explicitly feministic uh, ideas.